An English gentleman named Charles Babbage designed the world's first true computer in the middle of the 19th century. He called it the analytical machine. An English lady, Ada Lovelace, daughter of the poet Lord Byron, produced the world's first computer program to operate the analytical machine. Well, the truth is, they never quite finished their machine. It was at least a hundred years before its time. The current electricity, you see, had not yet been invented. So Babbage was restricted to using wheels and cogs to represent numbers in his computer. And to power the machine, he had to rely on a steam engine. He constructed models, but the complications of so many rods and wheels, and ratchets and gears, and the tolerances needed were too great for the technology of his day. And though he devoted most of his life and his personal fortune to the effort, it remained a practical failure. His programmer, Ada Lovelace, actually hoped to use the analytical machine to pick winners at the racetrack. Now, this didn't work out either. Babbage's analytical machine may have been a practical failure, but it had all the ingredients of a true computer. One, it had an input device. Babbage used stiff cards with holes punched in a particular pattern. He got the idea for this input device from an innovative French weaver named Joseph Jacquard. Jacquard invented a system that used a belt of cards with holes in them to make a desired pattern in woven cloth. His invention of 1801 was called a Jacquard loom and in principle is still used today in modern weaving looms. Two, it had an arithmetic unit, truly a number cruncher. It was called the mill and was a maze of wheels, rods, ratchets, and gears. Three, it had a control unit that could be programmed to tell the machine what to do and in what order. Four, it had a memory. Again, this was a complex maze of mechanical parts. Five, it had an output mechanism, a printer. His first attempt was powered by a hand crank. For the never completed model, he planned to use steam engine power.